Coronavirus is impacting sports the teams and leagues around the, the world. The coronavirus is the coronavirus. It's a global coronavirus pandemic, but we will be taking another MMA promotion still trying to do it. New Zealand is obviously no longer uh, happening, so apparently Cage Wars seems like every block has moved the entire event. In the way of that event, but Graham Boylan is adamant that it will go on. Yeah, the Cage Warriors story is insane. Before people sit there and go, okay, look, we need some normal. I must ask you equally, why? Yeah. We're just in the, well, the weighing room, weighing room's there, I'm here a little bit early because I'm underweight and nice, I'm ready, you know what I mean, ready to weigh in, uh, be weighing in in the next hour, so the most stressful fight week of my life will be over. So this week's been a bit crazy for me, obviously started off I was fighting an Italian, then I was fighting a French guy and now obviously I'm fighting Joe for the title, so my dream's coming true and I can't wait to become the champ. There's a room with a cage in, a little cage in it, that's yeah. what changing room one. Yeah. We've got the room with the mats, change room two. We've got the actual gym, change room three. And we use the bar, change room four. So all on the same floor, but all separated, all different entrances. So we can split the entire card mm -hmm. and stop having more than 20 people in one room by doing four change rooms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, guys are listed down our, going to get jumped on the scales now. We've also got a, a medic come around to check people's temperatures and any symptoms of this crazy virus that's uh, causing a lot of problems. I had to make some tough calls on Wayne Day because I was following the news the whole way through the week. The first way the scales, Jackie Dalton. He's looking to pour the scales, Paddy Pimblett. Very good one versus Steve Aimable. You had any coughs or colds? No. So, uh, no shoes? No. So right now what I'm doing is I'm uh, basically testing the fighters to make sure they haven't got signs or symptoms of this uh, COVID-19 virus. Quarantine. Aaron. See yesterday, innit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Done. You're good, my friend. Thank you very much, Doctor. Cool. I'm just glad I get to fight tomorrow night because I don't know when the next MMA show is going to be. Never mind be behind closed doors. We don't know when the next MMA show in general is going to be. So we we needed this. We needed this to happen tonight. It's, the, it's going to be the last sporting event for a, for a good month or two now, so let's make the most of it. Even when AEG pulled their venues from London just yesterday, he moved the event in the blink of an eye to a different city. I got a phone call saying AEG are closing all arenas globally and the press release was going to be released within the hour. Nothing I could do, there was no fighting yet, they were closed. I started scrambling, I had three phones, I'm calling people, I'm texting people, and I thought the venue we did in Manchester, that was an easy workable venue, they were privately owned, we can speak to them, we can set the show up there quite easy. Within 45 minutes of receiving the call that the venue in London, the O2, was shut, we had moved the entire event, TV, staff, um, fighters, everyone knew what was going on. So we're basically in a big, big warehouse. When we were here two weeks ago, we had two and a half thousand people here, um, which sort of fills the empty space. 
So with this, what we've done is we've essentially made a black hydrate box um, where when, so we'll have all our lights deep on the cage and then from beyond that point, you won't be able to see anything. We normally have people here. We don't have. This was our initial uh, design for the show and it does actually show you quite clearly there that everything is based in this black box environment and uh, just so we uh, have got the studio look basically. And yeah, 45 minutes the show was a match or It's funny, as in like this, I didn't think it's going to go through. I thought the last event, last weekend, was going to be the last weekend. But well, then, when it said about cancelling in London, I'm like, ah, oh, that Manchester. Yeah, I just had a call. I was like, let's go, let's go, let's rock and roll, man. Let's Especially, obviously, I heard that uh, not everything, nothing is on, no sporting events. So this, this the is the last world. one. It's we're entertaining. Everyone's this is the last entertainment tonight. for the world, man. Literally, <laughs> the big last entertainment for the rest of the world, man. I love this. Mike, take him out. Uh, so. March 20th, event day. I know the arena is set up. I know all the fighters are in. I know all the staff are here. I stopped some people from getting on the train. I made them go and rent cars, just in case the trains had stopped. So for me, all this chaos is kind of the norm, you know. So being able to stay focused, had to keep tunnel vision. Once a new venue was set up and everybody was in the city, there was nothing that was going to cause me any issues to make the show happen. I knew we were going ahead. your first time here. You all know where the show runs. In your changing room you have a running order. We have slight changes based on what's going on. Now I need you guys to stick by certain systems that we have in place. You're aware to close the vent. All eyes are on us tonight. We're the only live sporting event around the world. I went through heaps and heaps, and I'm still getting it, of shit. I was sticking to my guns and keeping this event on for you guys. No opening the curtains in between the rails, sticking your head in. Stay away from the production area. If you're not fighting, you've got nothing to do with it. You can stay in the changing rooms. Run around the arena, there's nobody here. It's all yours. Free fight medicals happen here. All corners need to be checked for symptoms, temperature. You get a happy step. Once you're checked, we need to know everybody in this building has been checked. As you're aware, we had a sold out show in London. You all know how to use the calculator. You all know the price of the tickets. You all know how much money we've lost to get this show on. The entire Vegas office is watching the show. All the matchmakers, they have the executives, they're all waiting for the show to happen. All eyes are on you tonight. You have more eyes on you tonight than any other client you're going to have in your career. I fucking guarantee you that. Why is you making history tonight? Those of you have not been here before, welcome. Those of you have been here before, welcome back. Best to look to all of you and make the most of the opportunity that you have with the eyeballs that you've got on you tonight. Good luck. been asking for updates all day all over Twitter. My phone's been off the hook like everyone else's has. We're ready. Pro prelim 6.30, main card 9pm. Live around the world on UFC Fight Pass.
Where in the world are you watching from? That's it. We're on. In the absence of Josh and Dan at the end, there will be no fight interview in the cage. Uh, we'll chat with Graham to see whether he actually wants to do an interview with the winner at that point. And just to reiterate as well, whenever we're talking to Graham or on commentary or anything, we're never talking about future shows because we don't know what no, future no, shows absolutely. are going to be. No, so it's all about the accomplishment of having just, tonight. Just a couple of points to make there, really. Uh, commentary, if we can, I think Kaz sent an email through, but if you can thank UFC for all their cooperation and help and obviously give them a little bit of uh, kudos for that and we don't promo anything going forward because obviously in this situation we don't know what's going to happen. So, At the so. beginning of the show we obviously referenced the fact that there's nobody here etc but I think it, it, obviously between you guys it would be really nice if once we've established it we just don't mention this pandemic again so people can have a real break watching this show and not be constantly reminded of it. Just please be mindful of everybody else around you. Let's try and do social distancing as much as we can, work as safely as we can. You know, it's, uh, it is important. Hey, come on. Is that nice? Come on, mate. Loose enough? It's perfect. Oh, just pull it if you want to loosen. Yeah, well, the fingers, I just keep, I keep doing. Just pull them that way, yeah. loose, but just pull it forward, look. Yeah, so The more you pull it, the looser it will become. Sweet. Yeah, they're good, you know what I mean? Nice and refueled. Just can't wait to get in there now. And been sitting around for 18 months waiting to, for this to happen and to finally arrived. I'm going to be in the cage fighting in the next three hours, so just can't wait. Can't believe it's finally happening. Let's uh, give some happiness to some people sitting in their home. Can't leave their house. 11 minutes past six. Um, 19 minutes away from when we put the stream live, UFC Fight Pass. It's been a long fortnight leading up to this. Everyone has an opinion on this thing, um, and I've just tried to make sure everyone has the information they need in order to form their own opinion. I, I'm about to hit send on the stream, I'm about to go up to the satellite and back down again um, into everybody's homes, and it just this feels like a defining moment now. Um, I'm looking forward to finally, finally seeing the show um, in the flesh. Hopefully, hopefully tonight the positives outweigh the negatives. We've put on a good show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a unique edition of Cage Warriors. This is the prelims of Cage Warriors 113 coming live from the BEC Arena in Manchester, England. Without further ado, let's go to our MC in the cage to get proceedings underway, Ladies Mr. Hal Chaplin. We are live on UFC Fight Pass for the preliminary bouts of Cage Warriors. One, one, three. Yeah, both these guys look like they uh, they want to make an impression on the feet early. Looking for a big takedown. Take look, look at that. Look at that. Five single leg. Beautiful overhand Big shot. elbows and it's over. Are you not entertained, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? Nail biting moments here. Both back to his feet. Take the feet. Oh my God! Oh my God. Oh my God. From the brink of defeat. Sleep easier as well with punches, lad. Adrenaline not running through your body. Therefore, death is getting knocked out, lad. Empty. Yeah, it was the first one in, in the ring, Weird, I think, when, um, before we didn't run in and that little bounce around and stuff. Do you know what though, it feels like, um, I don't know, like old, old days, school days, fight behind round the back yeah. and try and make sure no one's looking, you know, like, in my head in the last couple of weeks has been a bit insane, because I'll be honest, I'm, I'm a freelancer, I'm a business owner, the majority of my work is large scale sports events, live events, so everything's just disappeared. We're pretty much, I'm quite confident in saying we're probably the only live sporting event to be broadcast globally today, I and mean, we don't know for how long, you know, possibly for a long while. So I feel the importance of today being really special, and it's made me so proud of the Cage Warriors team, Graham Boyle and Ian Dean, everyone back in the office who's obviously had to take a million calls to book one thing, and then the next day it's changing and booking another, and we'll have family members go, what are you doing? But we've all decided that this is the right thing to do, and we've all um, come together to make it happen for you guys at home, for the viewers, and for us too. We needed this. Well, from 
some uh, a pair of all action fighters to oh, another pair of all action fighters. <laughs> Fantastic. Perry Goodwin has been in some of the wildest brawls we've seen in Cage Warriors over the past couple of years. Mark Goddard about to get this one underway. Our featured preliminary bout, Steve Diddy Kong, aimable in the multicolored camo. Perry, the Predator Goodwin in the ton. 306,000 people yeah. watching so far. Over a quarter of a million people. Last fight at the Pro Prelims. <laughs> Underway. Almost all the striking has come from behind that jab. Big shots. When you're working on the show, for better or worse, at least with me, it's always there. You know, throughout a whole December, it's on my mind. You know, I might be out over Christmas, it's on my mind. I think no matter whatever has happened this week and the chaos that's gone on, and however stressed and up and down I might have been, it, it's not a fraction on how bad I would have felt if the show would not happen um, on, in so many ways. The Cage Warriors team have moved mountains to make this event happen. We're in Manchester in an empty arena with no live crowd, but we have four incredible fights that quite simply couldn't be stopped. Welcome to the BEC Arena in Manchester, where you will not hear the crowds chanting, but you will hear the coaches' instruction and those punches hit hard. My name is Leila Annerly, and I'm joined by Cage Warriors President Graham Boylan. Graham, thank you so much for joining us. Firstly, I must say I'm unbelievably impressed at all the hoops you must have jumped through to make this event happen. I must ask you equally, why? So on March the 12th, Everybody started cancelling the shows. You had a show going on in Europe, you had a show going on in the Middle East, uh, you had shows going on in the States, everyone was cancelling. We had a lot of pressure from the media coming in towards us, wondering whether we were cancelling our show, because we had a huge show lined up. So I had my staff call every fighter and staff member on that card, everybody wanted in. The fighters, Half of them came back and said they need this card to happen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live on UFC Fight Pass and other global network providers for the main card of Cage Warriors 113. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Cage Warriors 113. An extraordinary night of mixed martial arts in extraordinary circumstances. 
Ladies and gentlemen, his opponents making the walk to the cage in the red corner, Penny! screaming their heads off in anticipation of Paddy Pimlet. It's not been since 2018 that we've seen Paddy make the walk to the cage. Paddy Pimlet just glad after over a year and a half on the sidelines now to get back in the cage. Paddy the Paddy Pimlet, the former featherweight champion, Decky Dalton, making his Cage Warriors debut. They say pressure makes diamonds. Well, we're about to see if that's true for the diamond Decky Dalton here tonight. Dalton has absolutely nothing to lose and everything to gain exactly. going into this one. He slips on the kick there. This is, this is pretty much the worst position you could possibly be in grappling. This could be over right now. This is a bad spot for Decky Dalton. Pimler letting go with big punches here. Dalton turns to his back. Pimler firing off shots. Paddy's looking for the finish. See that hips pushed into the ground. See how he's sprawled out. He's almost hyperextended backwards. Out, I was sitting in ours looking at cake thinking should I eat this cake or keep drinking this water? Cake, water, you know what I mean? And I just kept drinking the water and kept the faith and I got a phone call saying that we've been moved from London to Manchester. I was like, oh what's going on here? But then it's come, it's happened, it's come to fruition, you know what I mean? And it's down the road. I put my heart and soul into this and for this to have got pulled six days out. No one would have been saying how unfair it was on me or the other fighters on this card who were trying to earn a living and make money for their families. Next up, it's the lightweight title. It's Joe McColgan versus Mason the Dragon Jones. And it's coming up next on Cage Warriors 113. So on March 13th, when we stood our ground and said we're going to go ahead and show, we started getting put outs and injuries stuff that happened, which made us question whether we were going to carry on with the show at all. We lost two lightweight fighters from the car. When we found out, obviously, that Joe and Mason wasn't going to um, fight because of their opponents pulling out and withdrawing, it's, it's a blow, you know? And you get to the stage where you want these guys to fight as well, you know? Like, they've been training hard, they've given up Christmas. Mason was going to be fighting for the belt. He was the number one contender. He was 8 0. I'll beat. Joe McCorgan was that next guy in line, he lost his opponent. Further into the year, we were kind of gearing that fight to eventually happen if both guys were with us. I think we both had concerns, me and Graham, about putting the fight on, but I think it makes sense. We're going to protect ourselves at all times. You can obey my instructions at all times. You keep fighting until I tell you to stop. Now touch gloves if you want, step back. Spinning back kick from Jones, just That's a couple of inches place. short. Nice. Another huge leg kick from Jones. Oh, Jones, oh, no, no, no. it's a big knee. McCorgan goes down. Jones firing off and it's over. Unbelievable.
Eastern, what a journey. The world is shutting down right now due to coronavirus, yet you are at the top of your career. Can you make any sense of that? So, it's a milestone for me, and I'm glad to have everyone who supported back home and everyone who helped me get here, all the guys in Team Alpha Male who helped, and thanks to everyone, but this is a milestone for me. Like I said, bigger things to come. Follow this space. Now, we build up to our main event of the evening. Two UFC fighters about to step into the cage, Warriors Octagon. And they said it may be the battle of who can outgrind the other. And thus far, Papinski being absolutely sterling white from top position down. Yeah, he's completely imposing his game. Uh, Darren's been unable to do anything thus far. Let's get over that butterfly. Don't let him be bad. Don't let him be bad. That's it. Nice, nice. Oh, big shots for Fabinski. Stewart trying to circle up him here. Is Fabinski too tired from grinding on the ground for two rounds to be able to close the distance? Darren going for a takedown now. Big takedown from the dentist. Now, we didn't see this coming. Darren Stewart has five minutes. Stewart trying to throw the big knee there. I said publicly it would take tanks, trucks, and men, with lots of guns to stop the show happening. The government shut the country down at 5 o'clock today. They gave businesses till tonight to pack their companies up, their businesses up, their offices, and go home. We're done. We did it in the nick of time, and we stayed strong throughout the whole week. We kept pushing to get this done for the fighters. Your judges have scored this contest 30-27, 30-26, and 30-26. In favor of your winner by way of unanimous decision in the blue corner.